Welcome back to Wake Up Explore Your Passion. We're here live tonight with actress Marlene Forte, inspirational comedian Ernie G. Before the break, we were talking a little bit about rejection. Ernie G, I know you have some stories to tell. Marlene, have I've never been rejected. Ever. ever. Not ever. once. Never. Your husband's outside and I heard that. <laughs> rejected you many times before you committed. I mean, we've got, I, I know. you've got auditions, all kinds of things going on. If I'm lucky, I get rejected five times a week. And if you're not? <laughs> exactly. And if you're not? If I'm not lucky, I don't get rejected at all. I pray <laughs> for rejection. Yeah, exactly. Whoa. <laughs> that's a lot of exactly. Yeah. That's a little unusual. I've never heard anyone say that they want they want to be rejected. Well, I don't want to be rejected, but I want the uh, the chance to get rejected, exactly. right? Or accepted. Every rejection gets you closer to, to a an gig, exception. To a job, right? exactly. Well, I tell you what, guys, believe it or not, uh, other people thought the same as you did, and other people have actually been rejected. If, uh, if we can actually, we have a clip, and we'd like to go to the clip and take a look at uh -oh. what people had to say. Uh -oh. Hey Ryan, we are on the road this week in Pasadena at the Pasadena City College. We're talking to people this week about rejection and how they handle it. Let's see what they have to say. Have you ever been rejected? Yes, I have. Of course. Yeah, I have. By whom? By a girl who was rejected. Um, I, I have actually. Of course. Absolutely. Have you ever been rejected? Uh, I can't recall, but uh, you want to go out on a date? <laughs> I'm sure I have in the past. Yes. Yes. Oh, I, this is the first time I've been asked that on camera. Um, yeah, I've been rejected. Yeah, a lot. Well, listen. <laughs> sort of seeing somebody, but thank you. Oh, yeah, there has been plenty. Oh, yeah, definitely. How did that feel? Well, you know, it doesn't really feel bad because, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to just move to the next and, and, you know, I'm going to keep it pushing. I'm going to keep it moving. As you can see, I mean, every, every single person that we talk to has had some sort of rejection. It's a natural part of what we deal with in our lives. Yeah. Ernie, you didn't get the chance to share. What has been your biggest rejection? Well, when you get comedians together talking about their careers, they don't brag about, oh, I killed at this show or I had a standing ovation. What they say is, dude, I died in front of 10,000 people, bro. <laughs> or, oh, I got booed off stage. That's like a, a stripe of armor. Have on you her. ever been booed off stage? Oh, my God. When I first started doing comedy, I got a gig opening for the godfather of soul, James Brown. It was an outdoor Ow. concert, Frank G. Benelli Park in San Dimas. I went up there, I was blue, I didn't know what I was doing, and there was about 10,000 people there, like 9,500 of which were like African Americans in their 30s and 40s. And I go up there, I'm like, what's up you guys? You guys wanna sing a camp song with me? Let's do this. Bubblegum, bazooka, zooka, bubblegum. What the heck was he this? 9,000 African Americans were like, boo, you need to step, need to step, need to step. You were booed off stage by nine Booed off stage, but the beautiful thing is I put my head down went that backstage James Brown was walking to stage and somebody Introduced us. Hey, hey, how you doing funny man? I heard you had a good show He was just being nice to me a newspaper <laughs> kid took a picture of us and the next day my picture came out with James Brown Ernie G opens for the Godfather of Soul at San Dimas Frank G. Benelli Park wow. there you go. So 9,000 people saw me get rejected, but I, I still use it as a promotional item. It's very very Marlene <laughs> your best rejection story your worst rejection story my worst rejection story. Oh God um, I think the, the first time that I, I got like written off a show that was that was a hard thing because you know they in really Hollywood you Yeah, they, they don't really tell you you're not in it anymore they just stop. Kill you. Oh, they they just kill, kill you. you. I didn't even die. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you die, you have, you know, it's a good exit, right? You <laughs> right, die, you right, get your, right. your moment. No, it just, they just, just. Uh, you just ascended into I heaven. just disappeared. <laughs> Poof, she moved away. Into the, not even, they never mentioned me again. Aww. They just, yeah, yeah, that was hard. Because, you know, you don't know it. It's well, just... it is, and it is hard dealing with rejection sometimes. But I'll tell you what, we actually talked to our people on the road about what tips they would give to people like yourselves who've Ooh. had rejection. So let's take a look uh -oh. and see what they had to say. <laughs> oh, probably learning how to take rejection as a constructive thing is probably one of the most important things you can do. It's more about being intuitive and paying attention to see where the chemistry really is. You need rejection to learn more about yourself and to take those opportunities that you're meant to take. Don't take it personally. There's always other fish at the sea. You just gotta pick yourself up and keep going. Don't feel bad. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> Don't give up, man, because, you know, it's a lot more opportunities. Look at it as a, as a growing experience and move on. We're better now because of it. Sometimes it works out for the best. Never look back. It's life. It'll happen. But life will go on and you'll be laughing about it someday like us. <laughs>
There you go. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Good advice? I, Bad advice? I think it's great advice. I think fuel for the fire, man. Yeah. The more people tell me that I can't do it, I was like, oh, yeah, I can. Yeah. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> Ernie? Yeah. yeah, no, you definitely, uh, the, the opportunity to be rejected is what you want. Like you said, the more the more rejection you have, the closer you get to being accepted and to getting the gig. And for me, it's been a blessing to have so much rejection now that I, nothing can phase me. I can oh, get in wow. front of any crowd, I'm and I know you. that nothing will yeah. phase me. Right? Yeah. It's yeah. like when, when you get rejected as you know most people in life yeah you get rejected by your boyfriend or your girlfriend and you go to one or two jobs again we pray for five or six a week so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I yeah, but i still don't know if i understand that why is it that you're praying for rejection i don't pray for rejection i pray for the opportunity <laughs> gotcha <laughs> You, you've heard, you've heard the stories. Abraham Lincoln and ba like Babe Ruth is the is the king of the home run, but he's also the king of the strikeout. That's right. right. Love that. And so the more right. opportunities you have to do what you do, and every time you get rejected, it gets you closer to really fulfilling that dream. And if you start fulfilling that dream too soon, and you don't have a lot of this rejection, you don't have the context to really appreciate how great your accomplishments are. There's a lot of actors I know who they pop really quick and then they fizzle away uh, fast because they got too successful. Too too fast. I've been in the game long enough that by the time I really get to that proverbial next level, I'm going to appreciate it because I know I earned it. I'm sure you can feel it. Yeah, no, I, I absolutely. You know, you just get, you, 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 it doesn't make it any easier every time you get rejected, mm -hmm. but in some weird way, it's like you say, you're like, it's fine because something else, once you've survived that many rejections and, the, and then you do get accepted once in, you know, once in a while, they do come in, you know, it's coming. And how do you deal with it? Marlene, do you have a, sp a specific way? When I go to the beach. I go to Agape. Mm. I, I, you go to agape I too. listen yes. inside. Maybe I should yeah. go to Agape. Next time you go, invite me, guys. I'll come. I'm all, telling you, <laughs> Agape turned me back on to 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 actually a higher being because I was raised Catholic and I had lots of you know lots of uh, <laughs> lots of issues. Lots of angst. Lots, lots of, of angst guilt. Well, and listen, issues. I'll tell you what, honey. I was raised Baptist and I have even more. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, sorry, <laughs> you're worse. <laughs> that's neither exactly. here nor there. But 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 the, you know when you realize. That you actually have that power inside you, yeah. and that the that the That's spirit right. and that life and birth and everything is actually inside you. It's it's in all of us. Yeah. Then you have that little secret. You know, it's like it's the secret. Yeah. You got that secret. I went to gra I went to Catholic everything, Catholic grammar school, Catholic high school, Catholic university, and then I only went to church on Christmas, Easter, and when I needed things from God. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then I saw the secret, and I was like, who is this guy, Reverend Michael Bernard Beckwith? And I went to Agape, and the most beautiful thing that I experienced there was not that they were teaching me things that I didn't already know. They were encouraging me to just listen within, and the truth shall be revealed if I just listen to my own heart and to my own soul. The truth will be revealed through who I am and who I get to be in the world. Wonderful advice. Ernie, did you have a specific way that you deal with rejection? When I deal with, when I get rejected, like on stage, when I get booed, or, yeah. which doesn't happen very often anymore, but <laughs> I kind of like it because it grounds me. You know, I get, I, I, no, I'm not trying to brag, but I get standing ovations everywhere I go now. Wow. But when I do that one gig where I get booed or it doesn't go well, I just consider it another stripe on my armor. Yeah. It's a beautiful feeling. Well, I want to thank both of you for being here today. It's been a pleasure having you on Wake Up, Explore Your Passion. We've really enjoyed your insights, and I wish you both the best of luck. Marlene, continued success in your career. Thank you, thank you. Continued success to you and Ex to this show, brother. Exactly. Congratulations. Wake up, explore your passion. Mm. All right, I'll come to that. <laughs> Don't forget to check out, we've got their uh, Ernie G's like CD, CD, Mama's, Mama's Boy. Boy. Funny guy, funny guy. We also have Quetzal Guerrero. He's here to perform live for us right here on Wake Up, Explore Your Passion when we come back. Stay with cool. us. Cool.